David Nathaniel Baker Jr. December 21, 1931 to March 26, 2016, was an American jazz composer, conductor, and musician from Indianapolis, Indiana, as well as a professor of jazz studies at the Indiana University Jacobs School of Music. Baker is best known as an educator and founder of the Jazz Studies Program. From 1991 to 2012, he was conductor and musical and artistic director for the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra. He has more than 65 recordings, 70 books, and 400 articles to his credit. He received the James Smithson Medal from the Smithsonian Institution, an American Jazz Masters Award, a National Association of Jazz Educators Hall of Fame Award, a Sagamore of the Wabash Award, and a Governor's Arts Award from the State of Indiana. Baker also held leadership positions in several arts and music associations. The Indiana Historical Society named Baker an Indiana living legend in 2001. The John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts named him a living jazz legend in 2007. Topic: <laughs> Early life and education. David Nathaniel Baker Jr. was born in Indianapolis, Indiana, on December 21, 1931, to Patrice Lassley Baker and David N. Baker Sr., a postal carrier. His siblings included two sisters, Shirley and Clayla, and a brother, Archie. Baker attended Indianapolis public schools and graduated from Crispus Attucks High School, a segregated public school for African American students. He continued his education at Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana, where he earned a bachelor's degree in music education in 1953 and a master's degree in music education in 1954. Baker also studied with J.J. Johnson, Janos Starker, and George Russell, among others, and attended the Lenox School of Jazz at Lenox, Massachusetts, in 1959–60 on a scholarship. Marriage and family Baker eloped from Missouri, where he began working as a university professor in 1955, to Chicago, Illinois, to marry Eugenia Jean Marie Jones. Baker and his first wife, Jean, were the parents of a daughter, April. The marriage ended in divorce. Baker had a granddaughter, Kirsten, and a great-grandson, Dylan. Baker's second marriage was to Florida's leader Belt. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career. Trained as a music educator and trombonist, Baker spent the early part of his career in the 1940s and 1950s as a jazz musician, performing and recording in the United States and in Europe. A facial injury suffered in an automobile accident in 1953 ended his career as a trombonist, but Baker switched to cello and turned his attention to teaching and musical composition. In 1966 he joined the music faculty at Indiana University in Bloomington, where he established the school's jazz studies program. He was later named a new distinguished professor and chair of the university's jazz studies department in the Jacobs School of Music. In addition, he became one of the co-musical directors of the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra in 1991. He composed music, mostly on commission, and wrote hundreds of scholarly works related to music. He was active in numerous musical arts organizations. Topic: <laughs> Early years. Baker aspired to become a professional trombonist in a symphony orchestra, however, racial discrimination led him to a career as a jazz musician and music educator. After earning his master's degree from Indiana in 1954, he began teaching at Lincoln University in Jefferson City, Missouri, in 1955. Lincoln, a historically black institution, had recently begun to admit white students to diversify its student body, however, Baker had to resign from his teaching position after he married Eugenia. Jean. Marie Jones, a white opera singer, due to Missouri's anti-miscegenation laws. One of his students at Lincoln was the composer John Elwood Price. Baker returned to Indiana and taught private music lessons in Indianapolis and performed in local bands. He did not resume his academic teaching career until 1966. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Musical performer. Because African American musicians found it easier to find work in local jazz clubs, Baker began performing as a trombonist in Indianapolis during high school and college. He played in clubs along Indiana Avenue, the heart of the city's jazz scene of the late 1940s and early 1950s, with Jimmy Coe, Slide Hampton, J.J. Johnson, and Wes Montgomery. He mentored Freddie Hubbard and Larry Ridley. He later credited the Hampton family, especially noted jazz trombonist Slide Hampton, for mentoring him in his early years. 
The Hamptons let him and other local musicians rehearse with their family's jazz band at their Indianapolis home. During the 1950s, Baker played in several big bands, including Lionel Hampton's orchestra. After moving to California in 1956, he played with the West Coast Jazz Orchestras of Stan Kenton and Maynard Ferguson before returning to Indianapolis to lead his jazz band for two years. He performed in clubs across the United States, including the Five Spot Cafe in New York City with George Russell in the late 1950s. In 1960 he toured Europe as a member of Quincy Jones's band. He also performed in Canada, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand during his more than 60-year career. Baker abandoned the trombone after a car accident in 1953 injured his jaw, but he began learning to play the cello in the early 1960s. Although he played trombone on the George Russell Sextet's album EZZ Thetics 1961, after sustaining the injury, Baker switched to cello for Charles Tyler's album, Eastern Man Alone 1967. Baker was also able to play trombone with Russell's orchestra on Living Time 1972, a collaboration with Bill Evans, before the jaw injury finally caused him to give up the trombone and focus on teaching and composition. Baker is credited on 65 recordings, including performances on two of Russell's albums, Stratusfunk 1960 and The Stratus Seekers 1962. Beginning in the 1990s he performed with his second wife, Lita Belt Baker, a classically trained flautist. Topic music educator and author Although he began as a performer on trombone and cello, Baker is better known for his 50-year career as a professor of jazz music and for his published works and musical compositions. Because his facial injury in 1953 largely ended the performing aspect of his career, he returned to his home state of Indiana and began a period of increased interest in musical composition and pedagogy. In 1966 he began teaching each at the Jacobs School of Music of Indiana University, where he established a jazz studies program. He was the music school's second African-American faculty member and its sole jazz studies instructor for his first ten years at the school. The jazz studies curriculum was approved as a degree program in 1968, a time when only about a dozen American universities taught jazz as an academic discipline. Baker eventually became a new distinguished professor of music, serving as chair of the jazz studies department from 1968 to 2013 and as an adjunct professor in the African-American and African Diaspora Studies Department. His work as an educator helped make U a highly regarded school for students of jazz. His students included Michael Brecker, Randy Brecker, Peter Erskine, Jim Beard, Chris Boddy, Sean Pelton, Jeff Hamilton, and Jamie Abersold. Baker was among the first to codify the largely oral tradition of jazz. He is credited with writing 70 books, including several on jazz, such as Jazz Styles and Analysis Trombone, A History of the Jazz Trombone via Recorded Solos 1973, Jazz Improvisation 1988, and David Baker's Jazz Pedagogy 1989. He is also credited with writing 400 articles. Topic. Composer Baker's compositions are often cited as examples of third-stream jazz, although they included traditional jazz, chamber music, sonatas, film scores, and symphonic works. He is credited with writing more than 2,000 compositions, including his concerto, Levels, 1973, which received a Pulitzer Prize nomination, and the musical score for the PBS documentary film For Gold and Glory, 2003, which won him an Emmy Award. Baker's best-known composition, which also received significant media attention, was Concertino for Cell Phones and Orchestra", a commission from Chicago Sinfonetta. It premiered in Chicago, Illinois, in October 2006, with a European premiere in Dvorak Hall, Prague, Czech Republic. Baker's other compositions include a tribute to Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968, a violin concerto for Joseph Gingold, a flute concerto for James Pellerite, as well as, "...cello concerto", 1975, which he dedicated to cellist Janos Starka, and, "...ode to Starka". 1999, he received over 500 commissions from individuals and ensembles, including compositions that he wrote for Gingold, Starker, Ruggiero Ricci, Harvey Phillips, trumpeter David Coleman, the New York Philharmonic, the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra, the Beaux Arts Trio, the Fisk Jubilee Singers, and the Audubon String Quartet, in addition to the Louisville Symphony, Ohio Chamber Orchestra, and the International Horn Society. Other musical groups have recorded his compositions. The Buzeli Wallarab Jazz Orchestra's album Basically Baker 2005 includes interpretations of his compositions, many of them written for big bands and ensembles. <laughs> Later years In 1991, in addition to his work at U, Baker and Gunther Schuller became the artistic and musical directors of the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra, which was founded in 1990. Five years later Baker became its sole artistic and musical director. 
He concluded his time with the orchestra in 2012 as maestro emeritus. Among the orchestra's notable performances under Baker's leadership was a concert in Egypt in 2008 when it played at the Cairo Opera House, the Alexandra Opera House, and at the Pyramids. Death and legacy Baker died on March 26, 2016, at the age of 84 in Bloomington from complications due to Parkinson's disease and Lewy body dementia. In the 1960s, he introduced jazz studies as academic discipline at Indiana University. It was accepted as an academic degree program in 1968, making it one of the earliest to be established in an American university. In addition to chairing IU's Jazz Studies Department from 1968 to 2013, he served as musical and artistic director of the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra from 1991 to 2012. In these roles he became a leader and mentor to the next generation of jazz musicians. His range of interests is reflected in the dozens of books and hundreds of articles he wrote, as well as the hundreds of musical compositions, including many that George Russell called 21st century soul music. Topic. Awards and honors Downbeat Magazine, a New Star Award for Trombonists 1962, a Lifetime Achievement Award, and as the third inductee to its Jazz Education Hall of Fame 1994. Pulitzer Prize nominee for his composition, Levels, in 1973 Grammy Award nominee in 1979 Recipient of the National Association of Jazz Educators Hall of Fame Award 1981. Indiana University's President's Award for Distinguished Teaching 1986 and the President's Medal for Excellence 2102. Arts Midwest Jazz Masters Award 1990. Governor's Arts Award from the State of Indiana 1991. National Endowment for the Arts American Jazz Masters Award 2000. Indiana Historical Society named him an Indiana Living Legend 2001. Recipient of the James Smithson Medal 2002 from the Smithsonian Institution Recipient of an Emmy Award for his musical score for the PBS documentary film, For Gold and Glory 2003. John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts named him a living jazz legend 2007. Sagamore of the Wabash Award 2011 from the State of Indiana SACMO Award 2014 from the Louis Armstrong Educational Foundation Black History Month Living Legend Award 2015, City of Bloomington, Indiana in 2015 the Indiana University Jacobs School of Music, with support from the BMI Foundation, established the David N. Baker Jazz Composition Scholarship, which is awarded annually to U students in Baker's honor. Honorary doctorate degrees from Wabash College, Oberlin College 2004, and New England Conservatory of Music 2006. Topic. Memberships Former member, National Council on the Arts Former board member, American Symphony Orchestra League Former board member, Arts Midwest Former board member, Afro-American Bicentennial Hall of Fame, Museum Past chairperson, Jazz Advisory Panel to the Kennedy Center Former chairperson, Jazz, Folk, Ethnic Panel of the National Endowment for the Arts Past president and vice president, International Association for Jazz Education Founding President, National Jazz Service Organization Senior Music Consultant for the Smithsonian Institution Conductor and Musical and Artistic Director, Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra, from 1991 to 2012 Topic. Selected discography Steppin' Out, Licio, 1998 How to Learn Tunes, 2000, with John Lewis the Golden Striker, Atlantic, 1960, with George Russell. Jazz in the Space Age, Decca, 1960. George Russell Sextet at the Five Spot, Decca, 1960. Stratusfunk, Riverside, 1960. George Russell Sextet in KC, Decca, 1961. EZZ Thetix, Riverside, 1961. The Stratus Seekers, Riverside, 1962, with Charles Tyler. Eastern Man Alone 1967. Topic selected published works Baker wrote more than 60 books, including, Jazz Styles and Analysis Trombone, A History of the Jazz Trombone via Recorded Solos 1973, Jazz Improvisation 1988, David Baker's Jazz Pedagogy 1989. He is also credited with authoring 400 articles.
Topic selected compositions Orchestra Alabama Landscape 1990 Alto Saxophone Concerto 1989 Concert Piece for Trombone and String Orchestra 1991 Concerto for Cellular Phones 2006 Concerto for Trumpet String Orchestra and Jazz Band 1987 Concerto for Two Pianos Jazz Band Strings and Percussion 1976 Concert Piece for Viola and Orchestra 1989 Homage Bartok Bird Duke 1988 Images of Childhood 1990 Jazz Suite for Clarinet and Orchestra 3 Ethnic Dances 1993 Life Cycles 1988 Parallel Planes 1992 Peace for Brass Quintet and Orchestra 1988 Refractions 1998 Shades of Blue 1993 Suite from the Mask of the Red Death Ballet 2002 Jazz Band and Evening Thought 1978 Concerto for Cello and Jazz Band 1987 Concerto for Violin and Jazz Band 1969 Honesty 1961 Soft Summer Rain 1977 Vocal Give and Take for Soprano and Chamber Ensemble 1975 Some not so plain old blues for voice and violin solely with mixed sextet 1989 through this veil of tears in memoriam Martin Luther King Jr for tenor or soprano and piano quintet 1986 witness six original compositions in spiritual style for baritone and double bass 1990 solo chamber blues deliver my soul for violin and piano 1991 clarinet sonata 1990 concert piece for viola piano 1989 contrasts for piano trio 1976 duo for clarinet and cello 1988 ethnic Variations on a theme of Paganini for violin, piano, 1982. Faces of the Blues for solo alto sax and SATB sax quartet, 1988. Five short pieces for solo piano, 1970. Flute sonata, 1989. Impressions for two cello, 1988. Inspiration for flute, piano, 1987. Jazz dance suite for solo piano, 1989. Jazz suite for violin, piano, 1979. Piano sonata number no. one, 1968. Piece for solo tuba, tuba quartet, 1990. Reflections on a summer. Day for 8 Celli 1986 Roots 2 for violin cello piano 1992 Singers of Songs Weavers of Dreams for cello and percussion 1981 Six Poems Noir for flute piano 1981 Sonata for solo cello 1990 Sonata for tuba and string quartet Unspec Suite for unaccompanied violin 1981 Summer Memories for string quartet 1988 Theme and Variations for Woodwind Quintet 1971 Violin Sonata 1991 Woodwind Quintet No 1 1971 Woodwind Quintet from The Black Frontier 1971 equals equals notes